So chances are, if you have a vehicle, it's going to break at some point, need some work, and uh, it usually seems to need work when it's not 70 and sunny, so here we are. Unfortunately, this truck will not fit my garage. What we're going to do to try to keep some of the heat in the garage is uh, build a uh, portable temporary uh, extension for it. Alright, so first step to building the, the frame uh, is cutting out all your uh, pieces and parts and, and testing it to make sure it, uh, it's close enough to work. Uh, so we already built one and uh, it's close enough to fit out there so uh, we'll, we already got the other one all cut up and uh, we're ready to start gluing. Uh, I like to lay them out mirror just so I don't accidentally build the same one instead of the mirrored version. Done it before and yeah, you gotta go buy more parts and stuff so. And you also don't have to use primer. Um, I mean it's not holding any pressure or anything but it's just a good practice and uh, for me it helps me remember which I already glued because you can see the purple on it. But, yeah, if you don't have it, it's not necessary. For this one, we want this to stand straight up in the air, so it's easier to kind of eyeball it if there's something sticking up. Alright, we got uh, both lefts and rights glued up, and uh, it's important that you do have a left and a right, uh, otherwise it just won't work. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like having two right hands, you can't really clap, and I guess you can't clap with two right hands, but for this it won't work. Uh, the other thing is, if, if you care about your floor, you might want to put some paper or a tarp down or something, because this will just take the paint right up. But uh, yeah, my floor is already pretty seasoned, so eh, it's good. Alright, um, so now we can take uh, the two halves, uh, take them outside, and uh, we'll take our crossbars and set it all up and just make sure everything fits. Alright, so uh, the reason that we didn't glue these side pieces in, or the crossbars into the sides, is that uh, when you're all done with it, you can take it down and it stores relatively flat, throw it in your basement or throw it in your rafters. Uh, but I suppose if you did want to glue them together, uh, you just put it out in your yard and if you're into soccer, you, kids got a goal post they can shoot at. So that's another option for you. All right, so uh, one tip when, uh, when working on your car in winter is, uh, Get it nice and toasty. You want it like really hot. That way uh, when you bring it into the garage it just radiates that engine heat and cabin heat and uh, keeps it warmer. All right, we are inside the the addition here. And you can see it sits out about three feet, and uh, you know it's it's pretty chilly outside, but already it's it's already just staying warm in here just with the the warmth of the vehicle. Um, you know we'll throw the heater on later, but uh, it's definitely not airtight, but. It does cut down a lot of the wind, and um, 
gives you more space. And now uh, I can show you here what we had to do. So basically it's all just held in with bungee cords. And then uh, when you're ready to take it down or just move it, you just undo the bungee cords. Canopy comes down and the frame collapses. In full disclosure, I did have to shorten up the side frames, uh, I think four inches or so to fit this tarp. And I didn't have any couplers. So what I found was inch and a quarter pipe works pretty decently as a coupler. Uh, you can't glue it, so I end up just screwing it on both sides here and uh, shorten up the pipe. Because running to the store was just way too much work. But side frame is shortened and everything fits, so. All right, so uh, the initial test run on the tent is, is working pretty good. Um, I've only had the, uh, the heater going for maybe like 20 minutes or so, and it is like Acapulco hot in here. Um, like the initial cost of the, the tent, I think it was about a hundred bucks or so. But uh, I had just hit propane and it's gonna pay for itself. So yesterday I burned up an entire tank and it was still not even like warm in here. So yeah, highly recommend it. Give it a try. Let me know what you think.